Jay Marsh. I play for the women's football first team and I'm studying sports studies. Yeah, I'm in my second year at the moment um, and obviously looking to progress into the third year next year. It's the mixture of sort of sports development, some practical coaching and sort of the financial side of sport. I'm playing in the women's, pre women's premiership, um, which is obviously the highest level, club level. Obviously I'm doing well, I'm always looking to progress, you know, to sort of the England set up and things and obviously at the university we're doing well as well, so it all helps. The big aim obviously is always to keep progressing, you know, with the support I've got behind me from the university also. Um, obviously, you know, England squads um, and things like that, so... Is that just, something you feel that's achievable? Um, yeah, definitely anything's achievable if you put your mind to it and you work hard and with the support I've got from the university as well, definitely I think it is to be, to be fair, so I'm, um, you know, just strive for it. So. I'm um, Samuel Richards, um, I do astrophysics at the university. What's really good at American football is it can really kind of bring in loads of different um, kind of uh, abilities and, and uh, kind of different athletes as such. It gives me a, kind of a, a sense, kind of other than the academic, you know, kind of give that kind of social and also kind of fun aspects and also the competitive side of it as well. It's a very competitive sport. Um, but it's a great lot of fun. You've got a great bunch of guys that come, you know, the squads are kind of 60, 70 people. Um, so you, you end up getting a lot of friends that way um, and playing with a lot of top guys. Your name? Oh, I'm Matt Bromley. And what do you do here? I'm uh, in UHRC, uh, the rowing club. Rowing has a bit of an image of sort of an upper middle class sort of thing, but you know, it really is open to everyone. I'm following on in some really big shoes sort of thing because I'm, I'm the president of the club at the moment. And the last few presidents have been so, so good at raising the game of the university. Um, because Hertfordshire doesn't have the, uh, the pedigree that some other clubs have, you know, like Oxford or Cambridge or something like that. So when we go out there and we beat these big universities, it's a wonderful, you know, really, really good feeling. And um, you know, being the underdog really does spur you on. You've, you've got to want to progress. You know, the, the competitive aspect of rowing is, is rowing, essentially. I mean, you can be a recreational rower, but um, that's not for me. I want to win, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully progress, just keep getting better gradually, so yeah, that's, that's the future. Right? Uh, my name is Uchi Amako, I'm the uh, chairman of the University of Hertfordshire Tennis Club. It's been a great year so far. Our men's team got promoted the other week, which, which and they're in just their second year of Bucks competition, so that was an amazing achievement. Our ladies team, they're in their first year of Bucks competition and they've just, they're close to promotion. We've got two more matches to go, um, two points behind as well. So hopefully, we've got two good teams to play, but hopefully we can do it. Um, I'm in my third year. I'm studying journalism, media and English language. My aim is to be a sports journalist. Um, I love sports. I've played tennis since I was about 10. And I sort of got the hang of it, got good at it, and it's just sort of come together, those two, those two things. Right, OK. You, you want to be in journalism, you interview me. OK. Go for um, full name and job, please. I'm Luke Ashmead. I'm presenter of BBC Three Counties Sport for Beds, Hearts and Bucks. What made you go into sports commentary? Well, you know, it's just a passion like you. I mean, I, I, I like talking to people, but I also love sport, and not just football, all kinds of sports. Yeah. You know, from tennis, I've played a bit of golf, I've played a bit of tennis at school. Um, I like rugby, uh, you know, so it's, it's my passion for sport mixed with my desire to speak to people on a regular basis and that's why I've kind of gone into sports journalism. Football is not just my passion, obviously tennis, uh, local tennis and my real passion is to get young um, local talent, you know, more coverage, hence the reason I'm here. What, what do we need to do to improve grassroots sports then? Well, it's difficult. I think the, 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 the sprinkling of money from the top needs to be a little bit better. I mean, if you're talking about football, you know, the proportion of money at the top end of football, and I'm sure it's the same in all sports, it's not just football. I mean, OK, we're talking billions in football, but those may be millions in tennis, and the way it's sprinkled down to this kind of level is really important. It's, a, it's about managing it from the top, so to make sure that the people at the bottom get the money to develop that, those young sons. We've already talked about facilities, we've talked about tennis, and the way that we can um, you know, get better facilities for tennis, which will encourage younger people to come through. Uh, Amy Powell, um, University of Hertfordshire Netball Team. Netball is a big part of my life. I've played it since I was nine years old, so it's, I've never not played only when I'm injured, which is frustrating, but I've, I really enjoy netball. It's really good. It's really nice to like, meet other people that play, like, have similar interests and we socialise together. And it's just, 
it's really good fun. To go into the like sports injury side of netball, um, and I think I'm going to do a master's in physiotherapy after I finish my degree. Um, but I don't know how much money there is in netball, so I might have to like go to a different sport to try and get some more money from there. Okay, my name is Danielle Peters, and I'm a kickboxer here at Hertfordshire University. Um, about seven years. Seven years? <laughs> yeah. So you started quite young. How old were you first started? Uh, Fifteen. I started it with a friend and um, I just really enjoyed it and we used to mess around quite a lot when we were 15 and I took it a bit more seriously as I got older, started doing all the belts. <laughs> it's terrifying knowing someone wants to beat you up <laughs> but um, at the same time you train yourself, you train your body and your mind and you stay focused and at the end of the day you're only in there for six minutes and then it's done so just make the most of it and have fun whilst you're doing it. I'm going to try and organise the guys to go along to Birmingham and we're going to compete in a British semi-contact um, against other places including Dorking, Sussex, uh, Wales I think go there, Cambridge, so a lot of people are there. Hi I'm Paul Davis, uh, Ben Andrews, University of Kensington. Um, there is a diverse range, you can go from the people that join because they saw Star Wars and they want to be Luke Skywalker to Captain Jack Sparrow and then yeah the public school boys, we're in Neva, we're um, athletes who see the potential to utilise our other skills and it's a great way of keeping fit. I'm uh, a final year studying product design at the moment. Uh, product design is just designing actual things that are made, so like your microphone, your telly, your, uh, your mobile phone etc etc. I'm in my masters doing environmental management, it's only a year long and I graduate in September. Um, yeah. And if I can't make money from that, I'm going to go into bank robbing. But I probably shouldn't have said that. No, I, I wouldn't. You, you, you.